Hey, what's up everybody? It's No More Op For here, bringing you another review today. This time on one of my favorite flashlights. Um, you know, this is a little bit different from what I've done so far uh, on my channel. And the reason I, I am doing it is because I, I believe strongly, um, you know, if you've watched some of my other videos about not spending money on waste, paying more for less, I hate it. You know, I work hard for my money. I don't want to buy something that is overpriced because of its name or because of some ridiculous, you know, marketing ploy that companies use. Um, I just want something that works and that will stand up to the abuse I put it through, uh, which is why this light is one of my favorites. This is a 235 lumen flashlight with three color LED options on it. Um, for $69.99 at Gander Mountain. You know, I'm not trying to be a, a poster boy for Gander Mountain, but they've got some good deals. They make high quality uh, equipment in some of the lines. I'm not gonna speak, I'm not gonna make a, a broad generalization there. Uh, the flashlights, in my opinion, uh, by Gander Mountain are very good. And this is why I'm doing a review on this. Uh, there are a lot of flashlights out there that you can pay a couple hundred dollars for to get 60 lumens that lasts a half an hour on full power and you know there may be uses for that maybe some of you know operators out there that need uh, <laughs> flashlights that can stand up to a thousand G's but I'm sorry if I get hit with a thousand G's of force I'm not gonna have much of a need for a flashlight because I'm probably gonna be dead um, but you know whatever some people like that and I'm not knocking on any of the brands that are more expensive uh, I just don't think for 95% of the use that this flashlight is going to get, it needs to be a $250 flashlight or something like that, uh, which is why I like this flashlight so much. Um, I will transition in here for you and show you some of its capabilities in the dark here. I'll, I'll throw those in, uh, but it's, it's great. You can uh, switch from a high to low power and it also has a strobe. Uh, strobe feature is very good. I keep one of these in my get home bag, which you've seen the review for that. If not, check it out. Um, I've also got one in my nightstand along with something else in case I have to, uh, you know, get up after a bump in the night. But, um, you know, it's good for that. And I'll, I'll sh show a little bit of uh, imaging of what the strobe looks like. And then it also has the three color LEDs I mentioned, the uh, blue, red, and green. Uh, and the red also strobes in an SOS pattern. So that, you know, in the right situation could be very helpful. Um, you know, if you're tracking game, using the colored LEDs as opposed to the white light can be beneficial so as not to spook um, any game that you might be tracking. Um, you know, I like this flashlight so much that I went and bought its little brother. And not only did I buy it, I put it on my shotgun. Uh, this is right under my bed. Um, if I don't go to my nightstand for when something goes bump in the night, I go under the bed if it's a little bit louder of a bump. Um, but this is also a good flashlight. I'll try to throw some imaging in on this. Again, you know, is it a tactical flashlight? Would it meet the needs of an operator? Maybe, maybe not. You can see I've got it attached to, this is just an ATI um, mount. I've actually got the sling mounted on it as well. You know, this isn't like, I don't break down doors with this shotgun. I don't clear houses with this shotgun. It's just a self-defense Mossberg um, 500 Maverick 88. It's actually the Maverick, but for all intents and purposes, it's the same gun. Review of those two to come separately. But, uh, you know, I'm going to have some running guns coming up in the near future. I want you guys to definitely keep an eye for, out for those. But um, I've shot this, this gun with this flashlight on here, and so long as you have this screwed down, mounted tight. It doesn't come loose. Maybe with some running and gunning it will. Uh, I'll keep you posted on that, but this thing is locked on pretty tight. And the flashlight on here 
is uh, pretty good. This one doesn't have the strobe like the Bigger Brother does, but it does have an SOS. Um, this flashlight is 220 lumens for $40. Good luck finding that somewhere else uh, with some of the name brands. You won't. Um, with two CR123As, you can expect about 39 hours, 40 hours is what the manufacturer says uh, on the low power setting. Um, couldn't find a figure for how long the high power setting will last on this, but I can tell you on numerous trips, hunting trips and things like that, uh, this, this flashlight has seen a lot of hours and I've only changed the batteries probably two or three times. Also takes two CR123As. Um, you know, I can go on a, just trying to speak comparatively, um, had this on a four day four day three night trip down to West Virginia and uh, it lasted the whole weekend at night it was probably getting use of on and off probably total throughout the night two or three hours so over three nights you know maybe um, maybe ten hours total uh, between you know waking up early in the morning and walking out to hunt and around the camp at night you know maybe a total of ten hours and I didn't have to change the batteries. There was no uh, no noticeable decrease in the in the brightness. So um, apparently now there is also a even smaller little brother that is 125 lumens for thirty dollars. This one takes two double A's and has a runtime of about an hour and a half, um, which you're going to see between uh, switching between the lithium to the double A's. Um, from the 123As. Um, I can't speak for that one, but if it's anything like it's Bigger Brothers, it's probably a decent flashlight to try as well. And for $30 for 125 lumens, you can't really go wrong. Um, just one thing I wanted to say, you know, I'm not bashing on some of the more expensive flashlights out there. They certainly have a purpose. Um, but in my opinion, this flashlight is going to be good enough for 95 percent of the people out there that are going to be using it this is no more op for guys quick review on gander mountains 235 lumen flashlight and its little brothers uh, send me pms post on the comments on my channel uh, be happy to do a review for anything you're looking to see um, appreciate all the support guys so no more op for i'm out of here